Hey folks, the Panabachi here and welcome back to my FTL Let's Play series. This is part 4 and in part 3 we had jumped into our third sector so we're just going to jump back in and see how I will uh, die this time around. So we shall continue the game. Uh, we've got two extra free members um, but and actually before we head on we may as well get them healed up. Kozar, go to the thingamabig, thingamabig? Thank you, my jig. <laughs> I get used to healed up. As oh, I always do this. See, that's a, I still don't know the game. Um, let's save those positions. Need to use this one. Um, I do. I've have have had some advice as to what to try and achieve before I leave the third sector, if I manage to get to the end of it. Um, but. Due to my lack of experience in this, I already know I've jumped into the wrong sector. And in this sector, we're in the Mantis Homeworlds, which unfortunately means we do have a good increased chance of being boarded. And the last time I was boarded, it went horribly, horribly wrong. But we'll see how it goes. Um, need to maximize our route through the sector. Um, okay, let's, let's just jump here. I mean, it makes no difference to me. Once you arrive at your location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Can you lead us there? Um, I mean, it's literally the first job I had in the sector. For all I know, it could be uh, one beacon over. It could just take me on a nice out-of-the-way loop so I get to cover as much territory as possible and earn some extra scrap. So there's where the quest needs to take us. What do we have here? Possible ship detected. Beacon coordinates appear to be very close to a nearby sun. We shall skip that. Um, thinking maybe this kind of loop and see where we end up once we're here. Yeah, why not? Okay, you're immediately healed by an impressive looking mantis ship. Your ship would be mighty fine. A prize, prepare for battle. No, they do have teleporters. So, I'm going to want to take that out straight away and hope they don't transport anyone over too soon. Um, I'm not sure how this works. It's my first time going up against these guys. Um, let's get you going there and Artemis, you take out that. You'll fire first and I knew they would bring someone in. Um, it's only one, so that's not too bad. Come on, get in there. Okay, we should be able to deal with him pretty okay. There we go, the teleporter's down. Uh, you know what? Forget this. Prepare for retreat. Looks like they're preparing to make a hasty getaway. No, you don't, you bastards. Uh, return to stations. Intruders detected. No, intruders gone. Let's get your engine. And that should do the job. So it should. Now one of the objectives I need to achieve before leaving the sector is uh, increasing my firepower. And I'd like to get, you know, a firepower of uh, five or six damage worth, which would... Uh, Proof quite handy, I suppose. Um, and supposedly, I've been told uh, the like heavy laser two or something along those lines would achieve that. Also, need to upgrade engines and shields, which I suppose is a given. Um, so we'll see how we get along. Uh, the ship breaks apart. You move in. You move in to scrap the remains. So we've got a nice amount of scrap there. Um, okay, because we're in the Mantis homeworlds, I want to keep these people as healthy as possible. So anytime we take any damage, we shall throw them into the infirmary and see. Stay on top of that. Right, return to your stations. Let's jump. Yeah, jump here. Ah, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, it was a sun and I just jumped into it anyway. Take your goddamn time and read the shit. That's why you have long range sensors, you idiot. Anyway, we're here now. Who knows why the Mantis would adventure uh, would venture so close to a sun. Perhaps it makes for more of a challenge. Crazy Mantis bastards. Right, we don't have to worry about uh, the teleporting this time because they don't have a teleporter. 
But we do have to worry about their weapons and being so close to this goddamn sun. Um, thinking in this situation, we have to consider the fact that I want to get away from the sun as quickly as possible. So, once the fire's off, we shall then take out their empty room because it does more damage. So it's two damage instead of the one. Um, which, <coughs> pause you with that. Which is, you know, it's always good. Right, come on, take down. Um, solar flare, that's the problem. Here, Jimmy, fix that. Ah, Christ. Right, um, let's sort that fire right there. And, uh, need to do something with this one. My brain's not thinking right. Don't really need you in the weapons room. Let's briefly pause and then no, just you stay there. And that should sort them. So it should deprive them of oxygen. The four this room here would have been alright in the short term. But um oh thirty eight scrap. Even though we haven't got near to a shop yet, it might be worth considering. Uh, we need to get out of here, actually. Uh, return to stations. Um, solar flare remnant jump. Um, oh shit. Needs to be close to another sun. Uh, we'll avoid it for now. The only thing this beacon offers of you. <laughs> uh, nice. Nothing to gain. Um. Let's go for... See, I kind of do need the weapon. And as a result... Do I want to hold on to the scrap and... Hope that I come across a shop on the path that I've taken? Or do I just go on ahead and... Fire onto the shields and stuff? Run the risk of not being able to afford a weapon if we come across a shop soon. Um... You know what? Learn your mistakes certain ways. Let's do that. And that. Except, let's give you your oh, wrong button. So it's level 3 shields. And we're definitely going to want to uh, upgrade the engines next. And then get that weapon. Um, let's jump to the quest because at the end of the day, it's extra scrap. An escort ship. You escort the ship to the request a beacon, much of your dismay you're ambushed by a rebel ship. You walk right into the trap. Okay, they have a drone. Hmm. I'm gonna want to take out your weapons. <coughs> Sorry about that again. And we'll see what we need to do with Artemis once we get there. Now, I have been told that, you know, if you ever come across an enemy that can't penetrate your shields, that use it as sort of a way to level up, practice, all this kind of stuff. But you know what? I'm not inclined to do that just yet. Um, not saying that this is an enemy that does that, but um, it doesn't make for good YouTube videos. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I just don't want to drag it out. So, I um, don't think we've anything to worry about too much here, unless something goes really crazy. Especially with the level 3 shields. Um, we could just sit here a while. I'm not sure what else is other at weapons even even do. If they're doing much damage at all. No, because I don't keep taking them out. You don't really get to find out. But this battle should take a while because I'm only using the burst laser too. Which is at least good practice for that, anyway. Like, it's a good thing I've got those level 3 shields, but with only 23 scrap left. She gets some scrap from this, and of course the, what is it, 22, 20 something scrap from the, uh, the mission that I'm completing. Um, we should be in a position to at least buy something if there's something available. The ship appears to be, uh, we can't let him get away now. There we go. Uh, no surrender. No surrender. Uh, let's get you onto that for now. 
Make sure they don't get away. And target destroyed. Okay. Uh, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. We get two fuel, one missile, 31 scrap, and a healing burst weapon. Which I don't know what it does. Uh, healing self teleporting healing unit that instantly heals all friendly crew in the room can target your own ship requires one power charge time 18 seconds requires missile normal damage um, Is that good in the long run I have no idea, but uh, we'll keep it around for now and See if you know if it's something we come across in the shop that's worth more we need a bit of scrap We can sell that if we don't need it Um it's, it seems pretty useless in my opinion at this stage of the game. It could be a bloody gold mine later on for all I know, but this is literally the furthest I've ever got in uh, FTL, so. Uh, the exit... Hmm. The exit's the only jump we have here. There is a asteroid field. That, we'll jump to the asteroid field. If it was a solar flare, it probably couldn't be ours. But we'll do the asteroid field. As you arrive in the asteroid belt to discover that a rebel automated scout has been stationed here prepared for a fight. I'm always prepared for a fight. Let's get to that. Hopefully he doesn't have a hateful drone here. Unlike one of those good drones. <laughs> oh, this could take a while. No, maybe not if we can land a good number of those uh, bursts instead of missing the few to get through. Should be alright. I also heard that there used to be a bug in the game where if you jumped into an asteroid field you uh, you could just sit there the whole time let your uh, uh, shields get, you know, you could level up various uh, things by just letting the asteroids hit you uh, periodically but that has since been fixed as far as I'm aware. The ship explodes leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material, 42 scrap um, and taking that's a, an advantage of having this scrap arm uh, attachment, uh, we do have a store Okay, now we have more than enough time to uh, loop around here. He says, not knowing if he does. <laughs> Merchants are not highly respected among the Mantis race, so few undertake the profession. You're mildly surprised to receive an advertisement from nearby space dock. You decide to see what they have to offer. We have drones, a hull repair and combat one. We have drone control, crew teleporter, and that is all they have. Huh. I'm not sure it's worth it. Um, we're going to just jump into our uh, ship here and improve the engines. And then, uh, okay, let's uh, let's sell this. Should have read things first, but uh, we're still short. Okay. Let's give it as much as we can. Let's jump to here. And then whatever scrap, we get a cup, bit of extra scrap, and then we'll get that extra uh, bit of power that we needed. You pick up a stress call from a civilian ship that is being chased by a mantis. Uh, aid, power up the weapons, prepare to engage, pause, burst laser. Don't have the teleporter. Should be okay. Especially now that our evade is up to 34% with the small engine upgrade. I suppose we could do that. We don't need the uh, don't need the medbay powered up just yet because no one's injured. So why why put that part to waste? I was kind of hoping to get an extra weapon before the end of the sector, though. It seems as if it that it's quite crucial at this point but you know you can only do make do with what you have and unfortunately I haven't had the chance to get anything I think part of the problem was jumping into the mantis controlled sector which again is a, a rookie mistake on my part but what can you do you should have went to the pirate controlled one won't make that mistake again now this battle is slowly wrapping up only one and there we go some more missiles and drone parts and 
lots and lots of scrap attempt to aid the civilian ship. The civilian ship wisely made fast retreat while you distracted the hostile ship. Ungrateful bastards. Uh, let's jump into the ship. Let's get that. Accept. And we'll leave that in reserve for now. Because why the fuck not? Uh, let's jump. I um, suppose we could go... Um, one, two... You could go here, here, and here. What's over here? Asteroid field. We'll do it this way. What do we have in store here? More drones and stuff. Hopefully he isn't too powerful. Our shields will do the job. I suppose if the asteroid's floating about too, it'll definitely... Oh, we missed. His engines were taken out by asteroids though, which is, which is great. <laughs> Let's just hope mine stay intact. So the level 3 shields are helping immensely. Who would have thought? Better shields are good. That's Panda Puncher approved. Come on. Get this over and done with. Get the sector 4 as quick as possible. Uh, one fuel, two missiles, and 36 scrap. Let's jump out of here. There's a distress down there. I don't give a shit. Um, it'd be touch and go. If we jump there, whenever, if, when we do jump to here, we will be in the uh, warning zone. Let's jump to exit now. Not experienced enough. Leave me alone. Stop judging me. Uh, you arrive at the long range beacon when the FTL drive, blah blah blah. A scanner showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. Uh, investigate. You land a small shuttlecraft, an enormous field, whose only occupants are small, brightly coloured, six legged, horse like animals. <laughs> I want one of those. Uh, could they be what your scans picked up? Try to communicate. Bring some of the creatures on board to sail. Try to communicate. Um, but they just stand there silently, judging you with a large expressionless eyes. You prepare to leave. Well, that was eventful. Um. Next sector. Right, we have Mantis controlled and we have Rebel controlled. I have no idea which to choose. Uh, I've been through Mantis controlled, which was uneventful in the sense that, you know, not many stores, not much else going on. You had the risk of being boarded. Rebel controlled. Not sure what that will achieve or does. Um, I suppose we need to look at the eventual path that we can take. So if we take the rebel control, we will eventually go into a nebula. We'll be offered then with more nebulas or civilian sectors and a hostile sector. This way provides more hostile sectors. Which uh, I'm assuming you kind of want to avoid later on. I know there's one. It's one way, you know, you take the hostile early on or later on. It's one or the other. Uh, go to rebel. I'm, I'm hearing laughter already. Uh, this sector was bustling with activity just a few years ago. Now more than half of the jump beacons have been destroyed. Man, ah, oh, Jesus! I need to read up on this shit. Why is the store there? I suppose it's not too bad. I mean, I can start making my way across this way. Seventy-four. I might have something. You discover a resupply station used by the rebels and civilians alike. You transmit your fake ship identification and for once they don't seem to recognize your ship. You try to assume the air of a local as you prepare to dock. So they only have the one page of uh, stuff to sell here. Drone control, crew teleporter, cloaking, repair arm and weapon a pre-igniter. What the hell does this do? Weapons are made immediately available after an FTL jump. That's an interesting one. Shame I don't have enough for it, or even if it's useful repairs. Your haul every time you collect scrap, it produces scrap collection by 15%. So that can go in conjunction with the scrap arm, which would sort of balance out that uh, negative um, modifier to the scrap collection. But I'm not going to worry about it too much at the moment. Um, cloaking would be a good thing to get, but nowhere near being able to afford it. And we have nothing to sell. Uh, we're running... Well, I say low on fuel, but I always like to keep keep around 15. Uh, let's close. Um, jump to this possible ship location. We are in danger. 
Uh, a, a rebel autonomous scout is exploring this beacon. You attempt to hide behind a nearby moon, but the ship finds you and begins the assault. Let's continue. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Uh, so, obviously, the first thing we do here is target its weapons. <laughs> Not weapons. Engine. We need to get rid of its engine. Um, so I will be uh, using the Artemis in this occasion, just just to get out of the way. Because I'm in rebel controlled territory, I'm assuming there might be a modifier to their fleet movement. I'm not sure. Um, come on, weapon. Fucking fire. And then we also want you to fire as well. There we go. Ooh. Didn't take it down fully. Hmm. Come on. There we go. It's delayed for now. Uh, it's an auto, auto assault, so it's like auto repair. You know, there's no crew members actively going in to repair it. Our shield is taking a, you know, bit of a inconvenience, but nothing too out of the extraordinary here at the minute. We're sort of well in control as long as we keep his engines down, so he doesn't jump away and increase the uh, fleet speed because. With not having that extra weapon yet, I really, really do need to get as much crap as possible, find another store, or come across a mission that, you know, rewards me with a weapon, or, you know, I find a weapon somewhere. Um, really come in handy at this point, because I am starting... <coughs> Again, sorry about that. I am starting to get concerned that we don't have that extra weapon. We only have very limited offensive capabilities at the moment. It's done us alright so far, but we're quickly quickly getting through the sectors here we are in the halfway sector there's only four more to go before we face the boss I assume again never been in sector four before it's an interesting experience not really <laughs> uh, come on one more attack should do the job and there we go 22 scrap, not too bad. Let's jump again. Fleet is there. Um, hmm. It's a bit of a bit of a leap this way. If we decided to go this way, um, what we could do instead is sort of loop up through these two nebulas. And since we're going vertically twice through the nebulas, it's slow their advance. Um, and then loop around that way. Or see what the conditions of things are, even here. But about halfway through the sector, I probably will be calling quits in this video because I like to keep my FTL episodes uh, actually around this length of time. So uh, we'll jump into this nebula, see what happens, and then probably call it quits there for now. Quit whilst I think I'm ahead. Uh, <laughs> there appear to be a small number of stations nearby. Before you have time to scan them, warnings go off. A rebel teleporter was used in one of the stations. You have been boarded. Hopefully, it's not a disastrous boarding. Please be one really badly skilled guy. We can't tell. Because of the nebula, of course. Uh, okay. <laughs> we don't have a crew member named Graffin. It's probably him. Uh, right. Let's get these over there. Is there somebody in here? Yes, there is. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Uh, get you over here as well. Come on, come on, come on. Get down that first guy. I think that means at least one other guy that was in that room. Or is these the two guys then came straight in? Not too sure. Okay. Let's just make sure everything's grand. Uh, everybody to the med bay. Everybody that's injured anyway. Come on, Kozar, you big rocky bastard. Slow as fuck. Both physically and mentally. <laughs> and we're all healed. No, I was I was about to press it again. Return to positions. We seem to be grand. Let's uh, close you. Good sir, and... We will be jumping to this at the start of the next video. As you can see, the advanced has been halved, or lessened at least, because we're in the nebulas. We can get another uh, jump advantage out of that. But uh, this has been the Panda Puncher, and thanks for watching, and goodbye.